Evening, folks. I had to get the therm. Pretty head. That since the so that's Turnpike Troubadours with Pipe Bomb Dream off of a long way from your heart. There we go. Low setting, so you can get a look at the color, but nice and orange juicy. So let's give her about a twenty-eight. We are looking at the Shop Beer Co. The Shop Beer Company. Church Music IPA. It comes to us via my nephew, Alex. Congratulations to him and his lovely bride, Holly. He sent me a box of beer for Christmas. Okay. I am easy to buy for. Church Music Juicy IPA. It comes to us from Tempe, so it's local. That's nice. 6.7 is the ABV. He sent me some others as well. I don't know if he just grabbed them down here or if he brought them down from Washington, but I'm not turning down beer. How are you guys doing? You settled down from yesterday's bullshit and nonsense and all the other crap that's going on. I uh, talked to a friend on the phone today and explained to him exactly what my game plan always is. Let's limit as much of the Murphy as possible. We are running just a wee bit warm. Well, now she's down to 49, 48, 40. The hell? And now it's going back up. So obviously, it must be the uh, evaporation effect. Anyway, we're running about two degrees high. We're looking at around 50 on this. You know, the nose isn't really much. I'm not getting a super hoppy schnout offer. Eh? 
juicy IPA. You can hear that because the doors open. We told them to leave it that way. Sorry if it just sounds like noise. If you could actually hear it, you'd probably like it. You'd probably get into it. There's something about it that most folks seem to like if they're honest, but if you can't hear it clearly at first, you simply hear noise and clamor, you're probably going to stay away. Don't! If you got ears to hear, then come on, you're welcome. All are welcome. See, isn't that a sweet sound? It's church music. May your cup overflow with it, brothers and sisters. Well, I'll take it. 6.7 is your ABV, 46 are your IBUs, and she's a pineapple plus juicy plus loud. Now, I am completely good with pineapple. I like pineapple. So, let's see what she got. Oh, she's cloudy, too. Something just settled out into the bottom, probably the um, yeast. I'm still not getting a whole lot off the nose. I mean, it's lightly hoppy, even for a 46. But I'm not pulling pineapple. That's a nose. Got to slip the tongue. Them's the rules, man. gentleman should always carry a rag in his back pocket. Just for you guys that don't know that. Should also always carry a pocket knife. If you're lucky enough to live in a state where you can carry, you should also carry. I always have a piece of silver in my pocket. Just your light basic EDC kit. It's okay. Uh, actually, it's it's not a bad beer. On the initial hit, she's full. Real light in the initial hop profile, but it builds more into the middle. I get the juicy and a, a little citrusy tang, but there's some a little pine on the back end there too. Medium through the middle, cleans and dries up on the back end. Not as oily as you'd think either, I'm surprised. Pretty clean and dry on the back end. Bad beer. I could drink these. Oh, excuse me. On the uh, on the web page, they're showing a tulip instead of an IPA glass, though. So, aren't you guys brewing company? I uh, I finally broke down and ordered a specific tasting glass. So whenever that gets here, we will start going with the tasting glass. Not bad, she's light. The fruit is good. I can drink this three and a half. I won't buy it. I don't like IPAs, but all things considered, it's a pretty solid choice. Alex must be watching my videos because he, he understands how my palate works. He didn't try to bury me under a pine tree. Thank you, by the way. Uh, I am just, oh, you're looking back at the flags behind me. Well, you know what happened, folks, so. I'm going to have to start recycling some of these. They're going to have to go into the box in the garage. Which just means I have to buy new flags. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. That's not what I want. That's what I want right there. I'm just trying to tell you what kind of glass I bought.
It's a Luigi Borromeoli Biratec craft beer glass. I could have went with a Teku, but dare to be different, man. Well, I do what everybody else does when you don't have to. Besides, the write-up on this was really, really good from the snobbos who said Tekus were fine, but these were better, so... Really not a bad beer. Easily drinkable. Doesn't overpower you with anything. Probably not going to be a big hit with the IPA guys, but there's enough pine salt out there for them to drink. They don't got to worry about this. So, thanks for coming by, folks. I appreciate you putting some eyeballs on here. New folks, thank you for taking the time to take a look around and have a cold one with us and returning, folks. For my people, you know I love you, so we're going to do the standard ending. Take two beers. Take two of these. These were good. Take your phone and your devices and throw them in a fucking drawer where you cannot hear them. Grab two beers and a glass and a chair and a quiet spot. Or a fire pit. That's even better. I love fire pits. They're great, especially this time of year. Sit down. Have two beers. De-stress. Let the family know. Big Papa's time to blow off some steam, get his head in the right place, and then go back in. Okay. I'm not telling you you have to drink, you can do it with a cup of coffee. But this is a beer channel, and so I'm going to tell you to do it with beer. All right, folks. I will catch you on the next one, which will be another one for my nephew. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Holly. And uh, in the meantime, guys, be safe. Skull.